This selfish nature that we have in our Muslim Ummah was not found in the seerah of Prophet ﷺ. Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, he had great mercy for the humankind, irrespective of Muslims or non-Muslims. If you remember that incident, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to go to Taif to deliver the message, and he went there, and he delivered the message, and the people all together, they rejected him. They rejected him, and they stoned him, and they beat him, till he profusely bleeded. He bleeded. He was, you know, profoundly bleeding from every part of his body. And then, Jibreel alayhi salam, he, came, he comes and he says, O oh Muhammad, Give me the command and I'll crush these people. I'll give them punishment. I'll crush them between the two mountains. On this Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, he said, no. He said, no. He said, leave them. Maybe in the later generations, there will be somebody who will accept Islam. And Alhamdulillah, Allah kept his word. And today you see that entire region full of Muslims. People who are calling the Tawheed of Allah. This was the kind of mercy people had, not like us, not like us, that we look at a non-Muslim and say, ah, I can't tell that names, okay, that we use in our ummah. If I use that, you know, it, it, it'll hurt if there's any non-Muslim out here. We can't use those words. But we use certain words to segregate him completely. Why? How many of us have presented the message of Islam to the person or your colleagues or your friends? How many of us? None of us. Or maybe some of us, handful of them. That's it. We have forgotten our responsibility. From these four points we understand that, you know, it is very important, not only for our Akhirah, but even to live securely, with security in this world, it is important that you do Dawah. You convey the message of Islam to the people. And in order to do that, there are ways in which you can, you know, pick up your way of doing it. You need not always stand here and do it. Some people might be good in lecturing. Some people might give good seminars. Some people might, you know, be good in presentation. Some people might be good in field work. They might go and talk to the people and convince them. Some people might just be good by keeping their mouth shut. That is, you know, distribute the literature, distribute the books. Some might just help from behind the curtains all those organizations or people who are doing or working for Dawah. There are various ways in which you can contribute towards Dawah. And some of the ways are that if you do not have time, if you do not have time to come and sit. See, most of us Muslims, you see, we don't have time at all. We have time for cricket, 2020, it runs, you sit two hours continuously and watch it. Earlier I used to use the one day cricket, you know. I used to say one day time, you used to spend. Now everybody says, see Alibai, used to, used to say one, one day cricket, one day international match, it's only for the one day, now it has been reduced to two hours. And they have a reason, saying that, you know, only two hours go waste. Two hours of your time, Two hours of your time, every Sunday we go for field work. Within two hours, we are able to speak to five to six people, non-Muslims, we are able to deliver the message of Islam to them. Two hours. Those two hours of your day, you can take out to do dawah on internet. Do you know how many websites we have that speak against Islam, presents misinformation about Islam on internet? Can anybody give me a rough figure? Anybody? Let me see if you are at least aware of what's going on in the world. Anybody? You hit Islam, the websites that talk for it are very few. But those that speak against it, there are millions of them. Millions. Millions of pages open up. And they talk filth and they abuse our beloved Rasulullah the, the Prophet and the personality whom we all revere. We all love. Don't we? Yes, we love. But no, we don't want to go and, you know, clear of the allegations that come upon him. He is called a child molester. Nauzubillah. He is called a thief. He is called a magician. And what are you people doing? Just sitting? What are we doing as a whole? Are we just sitting? So many IT professionals in Hyderabad. Hyderabad is famous for IT professionals. It's called Cyberabad. The next name. The other name for Hyderabad is what? Cyberabad. But we have the least contributions on internet. Least. In terms of launching your websites for the sake of Islam or supporting the websites in the form of, you know, helping them with IT solutions, etc. Least contribution is given by us. Least contribution. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm not here to criticize anybody. 
I'm here to make you people realize those, those, that little fact, that little spark that is inside you, in each one of you, believe me, everybody has it. That spark is what you need to ignite. You need to bring up in order to work for Islam. We don't, we don't harm people. We don't want to be aggressive with them. We just need to do what? We need to deliver the message in the best way possible, in the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines in the Holy Quran. And in order to do that, Alhamdulillah, Hyderabad has produced so many organizations, so many dawah based organizations that give you an opportunity to do work. You don't have to start from scratch. Just go there, take trainings, send your children, send your women, send your own self, go sit down and learn how to do dawah and go back to your lives and within your offices, within your colleges, go and do dawah. Invite people towards Islam. Give them the message of Islam. We have several different ways of working, my dear brothers and sisters. There is no reason that you can give. There's no reason that we can give. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran that this deen of Islam is bound to supersede all. It is bound to prevail over all the isms of life. Whether it's communism, whether it's secularism, whether it's Christianism, whether it's Hinduism, whether it's any ism. Islam is bound to supersede all. Islam is bound to prevail, overcome all. Enough is Allah as a witness over it. Allah does not need you or me. We don't. Allah, what are we? We are garbage. Allah does not need our help. We need Allah's help. Allah is giving us an opportunity to earn prophetic reward from the prophetic job. So before it's too late, start doing this job. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.